here. The soil sensor is somewhere in this area. There are several at different levels, so we're really measuring temperature and moisture and conductivity throughout the soil profile. Agriculture has gone through many evolutions. The transformation in technology in the last decade has actually been driven by the high cost of technology and automation. We have the opportunity to flip the script and really drive the cost down so that the technology for a small holder anywhere in the world is the same as a large holder in the Midwest. There's this tremendous potential for exchange. We can actually aggregate hundreds or thousands or millions of farms and data points and get our confidence that way. So much of our language around how we work with the environment is negative, when in fact, if we collaborate, we can draw greater insights. We can start to repair, restore, and regenerate our environment. My work at Wolf's Neck Center for Agriculture and the Environment is usually to connect with the farm team and begin the process of human-centered design. How can we create tools that are going to help answer questions and make better decisions on a day-to-day -day basis? The observatory in the field, the groups of sensors that we have out there cover a wide range, more than 80 different indicators. We have air quality sensors that EPA has installed. We're measuring the total energy that's hitting the Earth with the instrumentation from the USDA Climate Hub. We have a lot of co-deployment with open source communities using low-cost data loggers and sensors alongside some of the, the industry standard equipment. The data that's being collected is being aggregated by our partners, but we're also pulling that into PharmOS. This is Wolf's Neck here. We can zoom in and look at the history of what happened at any field. PharmOS is an open source platform for agricultural management and record keeping, collecting all the different types of observations on a farm animals, plantings, equipment. Because the PharmOS creates a common way of organizing agricultural data, we can then aggregate a single farm with another farm, regardless of production system. We're collecting our own soils information, but we can also connect in with the USDA soil survey and their map and overlay those results. Our ability to communicate our best knowledge to anybody on Earth gives me great hope and optimism. The power of open source is what makes a lot of this possible.